dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. It gives me the creeps that Mess Salesman was the... Sorry, was just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, it still leaves us with seven, measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, those don't stand here. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find a Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what to, he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great, fa great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy there. Hey, hello everyone, this is Captain Panel LP, and welcome to another episode. Hey, watch out for the dog. Welcome to another episode of Watch Out for the Dog. No, um, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, go away. In the last episode, we started this game. We got through some beginning dialogue here. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the game here by getting this little straight fairy in the south side of part of town. Please help the help me to that skull kid. Has broken me apart and scattered me by pieces. Oh man, that voice just chokes me. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Park Town. All right, so <clears throat> before I made a very bad impression, um, we are now going to go to the Great Fairy because we are going to do a series of things before. We're now I'll give you an introduction of the town as soon as we get through some of the introductions of this town. So, watch out for this dog. He will attack you. He won't do any damage, but he will attack you. So just kind of be aware of that. So let's go ahead and go to the north side. The north side of town, baby. But here we go. North Clock Town. This is probably... We'll see this quite often during the game. So, let's go ahead. And this is where the fairy is at. We're going to talk to this gentleman. Oh, look who's here, Mr. Tingle. How nice. What's this? Great clothes, white fairy. Sir, why could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm George DeGay from Star Trek. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Wrong, wrong, wrong character. My, my name is Tingle. I think you, I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Unless I am though I'm at age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up at that age, but why? I tell you, Tico is a very re reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stay here waiting for a fairy of my own, I saw mountains to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for as cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Well, we might as well go ahead and get the clock town along, because we'll be using it. Yippee! So we got a map of Clock Town, so that will help us, you know, f find our way as we go through this area. Red area of the map will show you where you enter. This acts like a map that you see in, you know, Ocarina of Time, you know. But, you know, you only get regions. Well, call again! Ding off, Tingle, come down with ba! These are magic words that Tingle created, created himself. Don't steal them! Ah, oh, whatever, dude. 35, you know, I'm not going to judge you. Whatever. I'll, I'll tell you why later. Alright, so let's go talk to the great fairy here. Fairy's Fountain. Oh no! The great fairy! Yeah, well... She's broken up, but... Since we have a stray fairy, we can go ahead and... Take the stray fairy, you will see this... Many times during the game, of course. Oh my god, the Hustler girl is back. Oh my god. Oh, uh, wait, what? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Tattle, and you, young one of altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought I, the masked child was helping me, but I grew careless. All I can offer now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. So, just, you know, the second episode of the game, we've already got our first upgrade. But this is actually a necessary upgrade that we'll have here. 
I recommend getting this because you will need this to actually get what you, your objective, which is coming up here. And you, you've been great at magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press B to hold and blow a big bubble. Pause. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with your magic jars and potions. Alright, so we got that. The man who lives in an observatory outside of town knows know of Skull Kid's whereabouts. And be, but be careful. You must not underestimate the child's powers, kind young one. Thank you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yet. If you, ever re if you ever return to your former shape, come see me. I should give you more help. All right. Thank you, Miss H um, January 2015. Whatever the case is. Anyway, so now we still got... Time is still proceeding. We're going to do a game before we actually head on over to our objective. Because we still got three whole days before we, you know, where we need to go. I am going to go over here. This is where we need to go and actually have to play a game. We're going to go and do this. This is uh, basically a game where you can get rupees. But this is kind of a three-day event here, so let's go ahead. You need at least ten rupees just to play this. How about it? Will the young one play? One game, ten rupees. Let's play it. All right, then. Use this deacon flower and have fun. All right, so... If the time takes you to get all the rupees faster than current record, you'll get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below once, it's over. The best time for today's game is 1 minute 15 seconds. Get all the rupees faster than that. Alright, bro and the Deacon Flower, the game, game, game begins the moment you jump out. Alright, so go ahead and get this. And just kind of be wary. You are in under a time limit, so you gotta do this in a minute 15. And you gotta do this right. <laughs> I mean, one, you're stepping off one time, the game's over. This is testing your perceptions with, you know. And Tattle, I can't really do anything for you at the moment, so just kind of... I know, girl. I know, I know. Take it easy, girl. I'm alright. Alright, so... We gotta go back. I know we don't have time for games. I think that's what she's trying to tell me. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have to hurry up because we are running out of time. Oh, fudge! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we don't have enough rupees, so I will come back once I have more rupees because we got plenty of time to actually do this, you know three-day event, so let's just kind of go back. I'll meet you guys back here. Alright, we're back here again. We finally got enough rupees with enough to do a couple tries. We're gonna try this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll play. Alright, so let's try this again without failing. Clock starts. When we, after we... Oh, that was close. That was close, Paladin. That was real close. Uh, looks like we have enough time for another try if we need it. Whoa, boy. Now, this just takes a lot of precision. I mean, it's just... A lot of patience, but this is somewhat of a required test because it does prepare you for the first dungeon. I mean, that, that's just, you know, no if, and, or but. I mean, this is just kind of a required test, but we do need to hurry. And I know we're running out of time. Got, this is our last one. There we go. One oh two sixty two. Amazing! It's a new record. Take this. You got purple rupee. It's worth fifty rupees. Your face is beaming. I'll record this time. So, what is your name, young one? Hmm. Hmm. Paladin. That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. 
if you can come back again tomorrow. Alright, so we gotta come back again tomorrow, but for right now, we're gonna wait. Night of the first day, 60 hours remain. Alright, so we're in... Kinda need to go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and advance the story just a little bit. As you can tell, it's already nighttime here. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, because he will actually help us advance the story. Why don't you want shrimp? I'm busy practicing for my blowgun. If you can pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grr. Well, grr. Excuse me, Prince. There you go. What do you say, Jim? Huh, huh? Are you the one who just popped up there? Not bad for a DQ scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting in that easily. I can just tell you. I can't just tell you where the code is. You have to pass my first test. Are you ready? All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Hey ya, hey ya, donk. Okay. So, we got, we got to catch these guys. Where you got, where you went. Come on. This guy is not making it. Ah, uh, you caught me. There are four of us left. All right, so there's one more. And this guy. And we got this guy behind here by this creepy guy. But we're going to leave this creepy guy alone because we're not going to be able to do anything with him as of yet. So let's go ahead and go over here. He's clock town. Alright, so you get a little... And then let's go ahead and... Ah, oh, you caught me! Now there are only two left! Well, these are guys are pretty easy to catch if you just don't... get, you know, let them go. I don't even want to finish that comment, so just bear with me, okay? Alright. So, yeah, yeah, surprise, dude. Like Slender used to say, I'm surprised, motherfucker. You know, I mean, really. Oh, come on, you suck, you know? No fair, the guard's actually preventing me from catching you. Nice. Come on, get over here. You're not the next contestant on The Price is Right. I mean, given how they run and everything. Oh, why do I have to play these stupid brats little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 7 hours and 47 minutes and left until morning. Alright. Yeah, you're no fun, you know that? Get your butt over here. I hate when they do this. I gotcha. Yeah, you coming now? There's only one left. So then the last one is actually in the western part of town, which only got six hours left to get these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving here. And let's get this last one. And that dog's still there, little pet bastard. Oh, hey, jeez. But here we are at the western, um, west part of Clock Town. Get over here. I gotcha. Ah, oh, no way, you finally got me. Hey, you're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were, if only you were human, that could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let someone. We let some kid who wasn't him join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promise. I can only tell you once, though. 
So pay close attention. Are you ready? Alright, so 3, 2, 5, 4, 1. So 3, 2, 5, 4, 1. The entrance to a hideout is in East Clock Town. Alright, so basically we'll have to use that every time we want to see the secret hideout. This is different for every game file. I think it's based on what, I guess, your capture. I don't know. It's, it's different every time you play the game. So let's just put it to you that way. So three five three two five four one. So remember that three two five four one. All right. So we need to go ahead and go to the east side, and we're gonna go ahead and do go ahead and, and get the next part of the game done, since it's already. You want to pass through here? You have to say the secret code. So it is three two five. Four, one. All right. So if you know the code, you're a member, right? Okay. Here you go. There's a lot of cool stuff at the telescope guy's place. Oh yeah. Um, the Bomb of Secret Society of Justice Forever. All right. So let's go ahead and get this item because we are somewhat required to get this so we can complete this phase of the game. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this in one. Uh, I think probably. We'll finish that part in the next episode, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the item that we can get now. Watch out up here. There is a big Skulltola right up here. I'm going to go ahead and use my Snot Bubble to kill him, the acidic bubble. So let's go ahead and move away. And those things are not easy to kill like the first you know, first Zelda, so they'll, they're some of a, no a nuisance in this particular game. In this particular game, I wonder how the how the astronomer knows a skull kid. Whoa! Look at time. We don't even three days left. All right, so but we'll have we'll definitely have everything done before the three days is over. Because we'll we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna we just gotta finish that other game that we started in the last time. But we'll act, we'll actually get the second phase done by the end of this episode before we actually you know continue on with the third, and then the next episode, you'll get a quick tour of, you know, quick tour of this, um, you know, town. But here's the astronomer's place. Um, we'll go ahead and talk to this guy here, who's over here. Obviously, he's hiding a chicken somewhere. Well, well, a strange child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers King? Hmm, your men are seem much better than those of the mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill mannered Trump maker from the other day said he'll break my instruments. He said he'll steal my moon's chair. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him, he's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Would you gaze into my telescope? Oh, sure, why not? So he's up here. You zoom in. He's already all the way up there. And every day he does a different dance at the end here. But here's this. Here's this thing. That's what we need to get. Oh! Spank your ass while you're at it, dude. I mean, seriously, man. Alright, so we gotta quit here. Oh, did you find a troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that only opens on the eve of the car car carnival. Yeah, there's just some powers that he obviously possesses. And then, that's how it is, I guess. Who knows? But here we go, moon's tear. You got the moon's here. It's sparkling beauty, beauty radiates rather strangely. All right, so let's go ahead and go back through here. We got about three hours before we actually head on. Um, before the next day starts, then we can go ahead and complete the next phase of the DQ scrub game, and that's what we'll do before the end of the day. Since we, I'm gonna save them all the rupees that I have just for that particular reason. Actually, I should get rid of it just in case I get another purple um, rupee. So I might as well just go ahead and 
get rid of some of my money. Alright, so we know where the Skull Kid is. Let's go ask around the Clock Tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have three days left. Well, we're going to go on. We'll, we'll be definitely doing this for a couple days, for sure. So let's go ahead and leave here. And we'll go ahead and go to the west side of town. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to do something a little before actually the day is over. And we're almost to the dawn of the second day. And there are this is a three-day cycle of a game. And they did this particularly for a reason. We'll kind of um, explain that phase later. But for right now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. So for a limited time, I give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what will it be? Deposit rupees? Yes, we'll deposit. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and deposit 50. Really? Are you really depositing 50? Seriously, that's a lot. A lot. A lot. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Paladin, is it? Got it. Well, I won't forget your deposit, so let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks, and it's not going to hurt. There. Now I know when I see you. Alright, little guy. I've... Now I've got a total of 50 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save a bunch. Alright, so... Now this little screen thing will happen at the end of every day. So, let's just go ahead and let it happen. There's really nothing we can do to stop it. Now it's almost the morning of the second day. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Alright. So... Here we go. Now, we could take our time getting to the second, um... Getting our... what well, we need to this clock tower, but... For right now, though, let's go ahead and get what we need to do. We can't really save our game quite yet until we actually... Complete this phase of the game. So right now, I'll, this basically is for our heart piece. So, uh, we might as well go ahead and use what rupees we've got and go ahead and do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue our skill here with this. It's already 7 a.m. Alright, try setting a new record again today, Young Paladin. One game, 10 rupees. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so we got a current record, a prize. If you fall down, yeah, we know about that. 115, so there we go. And this is a little bit more tougher than probably the first run. Because now everything moves in a lot of circular patterns, so you're kind of having to rely on your little luck. Let me get over here, and I missed it. Sheesh! Alright, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Alright, so... I always like to get the exterior ones first. I think that's important to do. Alright, get this one. Go inside. Just take your time. Come on, get inside the thing. Thank you. Alright, so since this goes to the little smaller circle, you can actually, you know, the only thing is, you got to kind of time this right. Because you have to go back to the outside again. Yeah, so you have to get that rupee, so kind of wait till you have to come back around. I'm up, position, and I missed. 
Ah, jeez, still I missed. All right, we're gonna try this again. We got plenty of time during the day. As long as we got time during the day, I mean that's all that's gonna matter. All right. So let's go ahead and wait for this one. Let's kind of get in position. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get in this one. Oh, well, we're gonna have to go inside, and I missed again. Jeez. Ah, this one takes skill, ladies and gentlemen. This one takes skill. Alright, we're gonna have to get at least two so we can have another try at this. Uh, I tell you, this is very hard to do. But yes, the overall result of this, you're actually trying to get a heart piece, so... Alright. Alright, got the two I need if I need to try again. But, you know. There we go. Alright. Got three. Come on, get inside. Thank you. And I'm gonna have to wait for this one to come back. There we go. We're doing it. Alright, let's get this last one. Wherever it is. It's over here. It's coming over this way. Alright. And we got it. Finally. Alright. Alright, so. Alright, 58, 59. It's an amazing new record. Take this. Yeah, purple rupees. We're 50 rupees. Your face is beaming. Come on, get in, young paladin. Alright, so. We completed what we needed to do for this phase of the uh, day here. So, I'm actually going to end things off, guys. Uh, so, the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to go ahead and take a quick tour of the town and then complete, go ahead and complete the third day. And hopefully, I'll have a rematch with Skull Kid. For right now, though, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to like, also subscribe. I have much more to come on this channel. I'm back as usual. Hopefully, it's going to be permanent, given I'm only going to do two classes next term. But whatever the case is, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.